What's going on guys, Giovanni here, and in this video I want to teach you how to throw the jab and cross. We're going to throw them together, one, two. So again, good wide base underneath you, both hands are up, covering both sides of your cheek. Interesting. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. One, two. So it gets a tight change. Show you from this angle. Change. One, two. One, two. One, two. You want to sort of let the jab wind up your cross for you. So as you throw your jab, your hips will open up just a little to fire off that cross. So it'll be jab, cross. One, two. Okay? You can throw multiple sets of it where you have four punches. Jab, cross, jab, cross. A common tendency, I'll show you guys my feet. A common tendency is to lean forward on that jab cross. We want to, we want, to, we don't want to do that. We want to limit any excessive forward lean and keep ourselves balanced. Weight is even and it should be on both legs. As I'm throwing my jab cross, boom, boom, boom. If I'm throwing four or six punches, one, two, three, four, I'm remaining here on both feet. I don't want to get stuck here because I'm completely off balance here. Okay, wait is on both feet. So I'm gonna show you the one and two, the jab cross with my clients. Okay, as you can see, we're um, limiting any excessive forward lean. Um, we're using the jab, or he's using the jab to get a little bit of a wind up for the cross. Okay, and um, remaining, they're both remaining very centered. So now they're stepping with it, and same thing, you know, again, common tendency is sometimes to lean forward, so you want to be careful with that. Um, I throw in the one, two, one, two, same deal, whether we're in place, one, two, one, two, stepping afterward, um, the motion is the same. I want to keep my weight on both feet, not have one leg carry all of my weight. And, uh, you know, stepping with it, same thing, staying as centered as possible. Okay, so this is how to throw the jab cross. Um, or jab, yeah. cross, jab, cross.